and J Capital. Today's video will be about standard deviation, how to calculate, and why it's important if you're in the markets. So this is the formula for standard deviation of a sample. This sample, you just have a sample piece, you know, if you only have a certain number of data you have, and then you have population, or you have much more data. They're pretty close to the same, except for sample, it's data points minus one instead of just the number of data points. But we'll get to that. Standard deviation is how spread out some data values are to each other and how close or far away they are from the average, the mean of a set of data points. Let's say we wanted to find the standard deviation of ENJ Capital stock price. Like I said, this is a sample size, so only a week. And we're gonna get the closing price of EJ Capital stock from Monday through Friday. So let's say it started out, it started at $8, went up and then dropped down to nine at the end of the week over the number of data values we have. I know stocks never end in whole numbers. I know there's always decimal points. Since I, I'm doing this example, I wanna keep it clean. So no decimal points, but I know you should be using decimal points. Then you find the mean, the average of these values. So you do eight plus nine plus 11 plus 12 plus nine so that equals 49 and then you divide that by 5 which is 9.8 which is the mean mode is which which data value comes up the most 9 comes up twice the range would be the difference between the high and the low median is the middle number if you put it all in numerical order you don't need to know those you just need to know the mean which is 9.8 so next subtract the mean from each of these data points individually minus 9.8 for each of them so after this you get the square to get the square negative 1.8 times negative 1.8 you find the mean again you find the mean of the the one you squared when you add these numbers you get 10.8 but remember this is a sample so it's the number of data values minus one so it's you don't divide by five you divide by four 2.7 and after that you square root it find the square root of 2.7 1.64 which is the standard deviation of this sample now here's the thing you could do all that work or you can get a calculator or if you want to spend 100 bucks a year on microsoft excel you could use this Plot these in there. 8, 9, 11, 12. It's 2020. You don't have to show your work anymore. Be resourceful. Equal to standard deviation of a sample. Click that. Bring it down. 1.64. Round it up to a number. Round it up to clean number 1.64 what does that mean remember the mean is 9.8 sample standard deviation the sum of and then this is the data points minus the mean this is x bar this is for sample and then you have something like this which is for population but they're both the mean add and then divide by how many square root that over a number of data points minus one because of the sample so this is the the mean the average which will be 9.8 and when you use standard deviation it's going to be plus or minus 164 so that means if we're looking at the stock price and you start plotting in more data it's going to show that 68% of the time, it's going to be one standard deviation from its mean. Meaning, majority of the time, the bulk of where the stock price closes the day at is going to be between $8.16 and $11.44. When you do another standard deviation, two standard deviations away, 
you do this again, you subtract 1.64 from 816. 95% of the time, the stock price will close within 652 and 13.06. It's 95% of the time. So 99% of the time, the stock will either be $4.88 to $14.70. Anything above that, anything above 14.7, and below 4.88, 4 they're outliers. Probability that it goes above 14, $14.70 or below $4.88 anytime soon, the probability, is, the probability is low. And this is the 68, 95, 99 rule. So I, I try to make it cleaner. This is the bell curve. 9.8 was the mean, the average. So you take the standard deviation, which we, we found, you do the plus or minus, and that's the 68% of the time it will be in this range. The majority of the time, the stock will close in this, this price range, one standard deviation away from the mean. 95% of the time, it will close two standard deviations away. Will it be either 652 up to 1306? And then as it goes farther out, it's less likely. Three standard deviations on the downside is $4.88. Three standard devi deviations on the upside is $14.70. So it's good to know. Yeah, if you're buying options, you're not going to buy something three standard deviations away thinking, oh yeah, this is going to be in, in the money. This is a safe bet. It's not. You want to look at what's closest to the average. And what's closest to the average is one standard deviation away. Probabilities get low that... This stock will hit this this price. This is a made up stock, but anyway, I'm tired. Anj cap, standard deviation.